We have a legit eight-man rotation, and I think the Knicks' top guys can match the Cavs' top guys. I think Randall and Brunson can match Mitchell and Garland, so the series will ultimately come down to the others, and who has better others? The Knicks do. People overlook this with Cleveland, and I don't understand. Every single team that has limited spacing, we say they're going to have trouble in the playoffs. Cleveland has had limited spacing all year. Nobody addressed those issues coming into this matchup. Defensively, although we know Mobley and Allen are are great they don't have perimeter stoppers it kind of feels like utah defensively their best defender is okoro who gets played off the court then you have garland mitchell and osmond they cannot guard the perimeter which stresses evan mobley so defensively there are major flaws and offensively have no spacing so yeah these concerns were overlooked but it's the truth of what cleveland is